What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? Say hi. What up, guys? Peanut blood and jelly. Welcome to Peanut blood and jelly. Peanut blood and jelly. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Linus and I am back again. Woo! Okay, so before we get started, I have some guests right here. So I'm gonna have them introduce themselves. So, so I'm Felipe, I'm from Venezuela, and this is my second year here at Grace. And I am part of the Grace uh, soccer team. And well, I'm happy to be here. Yep, and I'm Malik, I'm from Illinois. Not really anything to be proud of, but um, it is my third year here at Grace. I'm a senior in the nursing program, and I also run cross country and track. So. Yeah. Guys, I forgot to say that this video is basically a chit chat with the boys. Also, follow us on our social media. All right. All right. So the first question I think it applies to Felipe. Uh, so Felipe, my question for you is: What made you come to the, to America, and what have been your experiences? Oh, uh, so. Uh, because I'm, I'm a soccer player, uh, I always uh, want the opportunity like, to come here to America like, because of soccer. Mm -hmm. So I use the soccer as an opportunity to, to come to the States, like, to come to college and then study and play at the same time. Gotcha. So like, I just started like, emailing a lot of like, schools here in America. Mm -hmm. And then, well, Grace was the, was the lucky one. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, it, it's been great. I mean, like, I've been here since a long time ago. Like, I've been coming and going, coming and going. But it was actually the first time that that I get to spend here, like, a lot of time. So, like, yeah. in a row. So, it's been, it's been good. Like, people here, like, it's a small town, but people, like, you feel that you're, like, closer to everyone. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's, I think it's been good. Yeah, yeah. In my, like, you, like, visited other places right yeah yeah i've been to africa and brazil yeah so. how, how were your experiences there <clears throat> i loved them um i went to brazil on a two-week trip yeah um and that was a really cool experience to just to um, be able to serve the lord in that way and then i yeah. went to africa south africa twice mm -hmm. so this question is a little bit <laughs> yeah it's interesting all right the question is what is your funniest poop story <laughs> <laughs> You wanna go first or you want me to go? You can go ahead. <laughs> All right, so uh, like I said, I run cross country and track um, mm -hmm. and I was on a seven mile run around Winona mm -hmm. and <clears throat> I'd gotten to mile like maybe five or six. I was really close to being done. Yeah. And I was like coming up on Dairy Queen. I was probably half a mile from Dairy Queen. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, oh my goodness, I am going to poop my pants. Uh -huh. And so I was like, okay, I can make it. Like I got this. Um, I started like praying. So I'm like, Lord, please, like help me get to Dairy Queen. How have you have been running? <laughs> well, but, so then um, I'm like running past like those fairgrounds mm -hmm. and I like started to have to like waddle because it was so bad. I like was cramping and I was like, uh -huh. I'm not, I realized at that moment, I'm not going to make it to Dairy Queen. Yeah. And so, I turn like right after I pass the um, the fields and it's mm -hmm. someone's front yard mm -hmm. and I found a bush and I mean I did what I had to do. <laughs> that just, was our boss guy. Yeah, sorry. Um, but yeah, so I mean I'm not proud of that moment and that's probably one of my more embarrassing moments. The never moments. probably came out but, like, is that moment? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is like I would rather have done that than go in my pants. Honestly so. true. Mm. Yeah, that's how, my poop like, story. I think like one day, like I was like pretty young, I was like probably like nine or ten, mm -hmm. and uh, we we're on the on the beach, mm -hmm. and then I was like swimming, mm -hmm. but I was by myself. Mm -hmm. So like it's very common back home when you go to the beach, like you eat there, mm -hmm. like you eat like either fish or whatever. So like I remember I was just like eating and then when I was done I said oh I'm gonna take a bath. So I went, uh, started swimming and then I said oh my god like you know when you're like when you have to poop but you feel like everything comes down <laughs> all of a sudden. That's me when I have to fart. <laughs> <laughs> and then you feel oh my god and then I was like I was planning on swimming back but I was like really far away so I said yeah. You know, there's a moment which is, in which you think, oh my god, do I have time to really like <laughs> swim back and go to the bathroom? Yeah. Or should I just like do put my here. pants here? <laughs> so I just like say, no, I'm just 
I'm just gonna poop here. So I start swimming and then I went down and then I pull my pants. And no! Then, <laughs> and then I poop and then I put my pants on again and then start swimming. <laughs> I didn't I didn't you wanted to swim really fast. I was like I, di I didn't want to swim and then look back because I knew I was gonna look at the poo and I was, it was gonna be the Oh my goodness. How do you even poo in the I don't know! Of course, you guys, you know, like when you're sitting on the toilet, you have to use all your muscles. <laughs> No, that was a, that was a, I don't know. Obviously, if it was coming fast, I mean, it went, it yeah. went so, so smooth. It was <laughs> smooth as butter. It went true. Okay, mine was, I think I was also very young. And I, I don't know if I had diarrhea before or what, <laughs> but I was like sleeping at night and then I like, I just felt, you know, like when you just have diarrhea, you just can't hold it in. Yeah. So I'm like sleeping at night and like just, you know, minding my own business. And there, I just like wanted to poop, but like the toilet was too far away, so I just pooped in my pants. But instead of me like actually telling my mom to help me with like it, I went and sat in a bucket that had water, <laughs> like drinking. <laughs> I sat in there, the poop spread. <laughs> oh, that's so gross! <laughs> it spread all over. It was dripping. Oh no! It was so sad, but I think it's it's nice because it happened when I was little, you know. Yeah. But if so it's it, not even up to now, like, mine I happened know. like last year. So <laughs> it's okay. I have more of those. So I have some. Yeah. Those stories. The next question is, what are your most annoying pet peeves? I have so many of those. Mm. Anyways, what do you guys? Uh, probably yeah, like when people are sitting like right next to you, mm -hmm. uh, and they start like doing some like noise. Uh, noises like with some weird sounds with their mouth like know, when like, they show up <laughs> when they like it's just like i just cannot like eat right next to them i just yeah i just grab my plate and then eat yeah, like else. adios yeah no yeah. i understand chewing is like the most annoying thing honestly mm -hmm. especially if like in class when they're sitting behind you and they're like, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like i'm about to slap you yeah. i would say mine would be bad and slow drivers gotcha like, yeah Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. I have a slight like bit of road rage. Not like aggressive road rage, but like <laughs> I'll start fine. yelling if they're like being yeah. stupid. Like just be smart. And know. you know the thing is just like learn how to drive. Yeah. Yeah, true, true. It's not hard. <laughs> anyway. And the thing is like when you yell in the car and you're just there by yourself. Yeah. You know, like people yell and the windows are locked, you're like, you're just yelling to yourself. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's nobody there. I like to see someone that like looks at me while I'm doing it, they're like, what is he doing? I'm like this person is going insane. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think mine would definitely be chewing because I mm, just yeah. chewing this on my lips. Anyways, okay. The next one is what is your normal sleep schedule? <laughs> or like what? <laughs> what is sleep? <laughs> hey man, same. Uh, right now during the summer, um, uh, because we're working and, and I have to do like a soccer workouts, like yeah. Uh, it's just like from probably I would go to bed like 11, 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a little bit later, sometimes a little bit sooner. But from, yeah. from 11 p.m. probably to like uh, 6, 30 a.m. Okay. And then that's it. But like when, like in the perfect Asian area, yeah. uh, <laughs> I don't know, I will just like easily sleep like 10 hours a day. For yeah. Sure. Like 11 hours a day. You, it seems like you do enjoy sleep like a lot. And Why? Because like, he naps a lot. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 I am the type of person that likes to like. I don't. I don't like. I don't sleep like just like straight like the mm -hmm. ten hours straight. Mm -hmm. I just like do like one hour, then I wake up, then maybe two hours, then like. Yeah. I'm pretty similar to that too. Gotcha. I also go to bed at eleven. Wake up at like six, six thirty. Yeah. But I have to have a nap right after work. Because you can. Either I'm grumpy or like I try to run like right after work and like I'm always too tired, so that's why I nap. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, I think right now for me, it's mostly like, so I try to go to bed at 10, but it's not like, yeah. it's not realistic, no. honestly, <laughs> like school it's so and everything, hard. it is hard, and so I, I sleep around like 11 and mm -hmm. sometimes 12, and then I have to wake up at like 6, 6. Yeah, and you don't you don't realize like the time until you really like go exactly, to bed. Yeah. yeah. And then like you take a look at your phone, like, and it's like 8 p.m. and then you start doing whatever and then you take a look at your phone again and it's like 11 30. yeah especially when you're like tiktok tiktok yeah. is like <laughs> tiktok is <laughs> the devil of this generation yeah. moving on 
to our next question, which is, if you had to choose an athlete to practice with, who would it be? And that would be any sport, so. So I would probably choose um, one of the professional volleyball players. So either Taylor Crabb, who plays sand volleyball mm -hmm. um, in the AVP league, or Matt Anderson plays for the indoor men's Olympic team. So mm -hmm. probably one of those guys. Yeah. That'd be, really, that'd be a dream right there. <laughs> that would be so fun to be competing with Yeah, mm -hmm. that'd be cool. I don't know, I'll probably choose like, of course, one of the one like a pro athlete of soccer. Mm -hmm. But like someone who actually can teach me stuff, you know, like because like there's Messi which is mm. like yeah. the best of the best player of the world, but yeah. but mm. it's just like natural talent. Like mm -hmm. he's not gonna teach you, hey, you you can do this like this way or that way. He's just like that natural talent. So yeah, yeah. maybe Iniesta or Xavi like players from that used to play from Barcelona mm -hmm. but they're super smart so they can like teach me and stuff and you know, that would yeah. be good. Sure. Not really into like athletes so I just I'm just gonna test them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Um okay so our next question is uh what would be the one meal you could eat every single day and never get bored? That's a good one. Yeah. Probably be right now I have a diet which yeah. is like probably pasta every day pasta, yeah. <laughs> pasta and chicken wow Dang. pasta and like, chicken no it's like pasta when i make pasta it's like pasta with ground beef mm -hmm. with sauce oh, nice. and then the next day chicken and then the next day pasta and then chicken pasta chicken pasta, pasta. <laughs> so, nice and then wow. but I, I would say i don't know pizza whatever yeah pizza sushi <laughs> and you know people like yeah. pizza is pretty yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, pizza. I'd probably say stir fry. I just never get tired of that. And really? Yeah. You can do like so many different like varieties of it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, I I always do. I like fajitas. I don't know why. Oh, okay. so I good. love. I yeah. like Mexican. Mexican food in general, just, like I. It's like, just amazing. My Mexican. stomach may not be like <laughs> up for it every day, but. But it's yeah. I think fajitas are good. I don't. I yeah. Don't get tired of it. Yeah, Mexican oh. food is good. It's. So I love good. it. Let's see. All right. Let's move on to our next question, which is, how do you feel about putting pineapple on pizza? I'm all for it, hundred <laughs> percent. Felipe is like, oh, you're not like. You don't like it? Wow, I mean, you don't like it. <laughs> it's not that I don't like it, but it's yeah. like it's still weird for me, even though I've tried and it tastes good. Yeah. But I don't know. It's like just like a sweeter pizza, you know? Yeah. Hawaiian pizza is my all-time favorite. So I don't know. For me, it's just weird. It's weird, yeah. so you wouldn't eat No, we have, like, how, how is it called that pizza here? How, how, Hawaiian. Hawaiian? Hawaiian, yeah. Yeah, yeah same, but, uh, like, it's not that common there. I mean, people, uh, like, yeah. restaurants still have it, but it's not that, that common. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yeah I, I personally, like, I think I've tried it and I like it, so I think I'll yeah. be for it. All right, let's move on to what's the weirdest thing a guest has done at your house? <laughs> I have a good one. So when I was little, probably like seven or eight, um, it was my mom and I at the house and she just ordered a couch for our living room. Yeah. And so these guys, like the couch delivers came and like they set it up in our living room mm -hmm. and it was probably like eight o'clock at night. So it was pretty late. And <laughs> the one guy goes, can I use your bathroom? And we were like, my mom said, sure. And I was like, what? It was just a stranger. Just yeah. Well, the guy that was delivering our couch. Yeah, oh, yeah, dang. and so like he's in our bathroom and it was like easily 10 minutes mm -hmm. and we were like, uh, oh, okay um, But then to make it even worse after he got out of the bathroom, he's like, um I don't remember the, the address I'm supposed to go to next Like I don't know where it is and I don't have my phone like could I use oh. your computer to like what? Um, To like to search like a, a map. So my mom's like, well, I can search it for you I don't want you using like a yeah. computer and so she like printed out like a map for him to get to his next place and it was really strange. That's never... weird. Yeah. Oh my. I wonder if you let him, if you let him like check, find the map. I wonder what he does. I don't know. It's just kind of creepy. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't think I have like any weird stories. Yeah. Um, yeah. Probably I will be the weird guest. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> You'd be the weird guest that does I remember that, uh, like, I was sleeping, like, I was pretty young, of course, and yeah. I was sleeping in my auntie's house, mm -hmm. and then, like, I think I, I peed my pants, something like that, well, oh. like, uh, like, in the Happens. Bed, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if 
I just remember one time there was this like one lady, one old grandmother that came over at our house. Like he started following my uncle for like like a, like maybe like I don't know, like I wanna say like half a mile maybe. It wasn't too far. And he was like following him until he got to our place our our gate. He got inside the gate and the grandma was still following him. She got in the gate, she came to our house and he came to our house and she came too and she couldn't leave and it was a Sunday like it was a Sunday morning and we had to go to church and so like she's saying like can you give me this can you give me and we give her the stuff but she will not leave so we had to like forcefully like we have to be nice but we have to be like grandmother you need to leave like we gotta go but she was just it was just like one of those grandmothers that are just like she's just kind of creepy looking and just like I don't want you to like grandmother <laughs> But I don't remember if there was like something like specific that was yeah. But yeah. All right, so we'll move on to our next question, which is, what would be the absolute worst name you could give your child? The word. Venus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Probably Felipe. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Wow. I don't know. Um, I'm hurt. I don't know. Corona. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Like, I feel like there's just like genuinely a lot of bad names that you, you can give. Honestly, yeah. Maybe poop. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, okay. I okay. saw so, there was like an, it's not really like a name, but like this kid was nicknamed, what was, what was his name? Like, poop or something. Yeah, poop. poop. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what, what kind of a nickname is that? I mean, it's yeah. not really a name, but I, I was like, I can't really think of any specific ones. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, then we're going to move on to our next one, which is. What's the most weird thing that girls do, in your opinion? Because we have, like, I, I know that guy, girls have, like, things that they do to them that are weird. What would you think? I think, like, maybe just going to the bathroom together and how they, like, like... Oh, yeah, we like, <laughs> honestly, though. How you always need someone to go to the bathroom. I mean, some girls aren't like It's that, so funny. But though. a lot of girls, they're just like, oh, I need someone to go to the bathroom with me. Like, I do that, yeah. too. Like, in high, in high school, I just put it, let's go. <laughs> Who else is going to the bathroom? Yeah, we yeah. all go together and, like... And what, you all go, like, you all, like... Wait for for her for the girl. No, we, you yeah, wait, they wait for each other. You like, wait around. I understand, like being like, hey, you gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah. Like we go, but like I'm not gonna stand next to you at the urinal and yeah. wait for you. You know. Yeah. If one of my friends tell me like, hey, you wanna go to the bathroom, I'll be like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, uh, why? Are you okay? I'm here. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> no, seriously, I mean, that's so normal though. It's it's weird that that's with you guys. Cause it's so normal. If I was, if I had Kayla here, if she, if she, she doesn't get weirded out, I would just be like, hey, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna escort me to the bathroom? Okay, let's go and we go together. Like, I, like I know that like girls like sometimes they don't know each other. Like they're not pretty close, mm -hmm. and and they like you can ask her, hey, do you wanna go to the bathroom with me? And they'll be we'll like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like it's, it's something. It's just, it's just normal, it's for, just normal yeah. for you, bro. Mm -hmm. For you guys, it's weird. Yeah. We're almost done with the questions and uh, yeah so just before we go please remember to like comment and subscribe and yeah stay tuned for more videos okay all right i'm watching you i'm seeing you we're watching you <laughs> yeah we <I'm freaking>. can <laughs> okay so our last two actually the we yeah we have three more live questions and the first one is what's the worst and best thing about being a male for you best thing is we don't have to give birth you're so like you don't understand yourself. So, I mean, I don't understand that because I'm in a different yeah, stage. Yeah. But, but like, yeah, yeah. yeah. the worst thing. Mm -hmm. The worst. Yeah. Spill it out. Spill it out. Probably the pain in our back of carrying this whole. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Felipe, <laughs> really? What? What? what I what, would what, say. What if it <laughs> I would say probably all the body hair, like yeah. so much, like facial. Yeah, it's just. Is it is it pretty annoying? I don't like shaving, and I also yeah. don't love big beards, so I'm just kind of lose lose situation. But yeah, yeah, it's just a lot of work. That that yeah, that does seem. You guys do. But it's really not really anything to complain about. Talk about fashion. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, let's go to the next question. The last one is, uh, what would be the scariest sound to hear after waking up? I'm screaming. <laughs> Yeah, it's scary. Yeah. Uh, I remember it's not a, it was it wasn't a sound but um 
every time I'm like in my room and like my mom or my sister will like walk inside and to see what I'm doing or I don't know whatever mm -hmm. like I was always fake to like you know to be sleeping you know <laughs> you so, they, so like they don't bother me I totally that. so I like sometimes I was actually sleeping so <laughs> my sister will always like stay like right in front of my eyes <laughs> oh my to see god. if I was sleeping or not oh my and god. then one day I was actually sleeping yeah. so I was just like sleeping yeah. Yeah. So I, used to, I used to sleep like I don't know like in weird positions but mm -hmm. that day I remember I was sleeping like this yeah and then my sister like uh, she stayed like for like I don't know like five minutes like mm -hmm. two or three minutes like right here and then you know that when there's a light you see the light but when someone like uh, <laughs> like the shadow yeah you just see a shadow yeah and then you're like hey what's happening here <laughs> so i just opened my eyes and there was my sister's face here mm -hmm. and i just slapped her in the face oh my oh. goodness and she like that? because i was scared and i that slapped her and i was like oh sorry sorry and i was like i was like kind of mad because hey yeah. are you crazy how are you gonna do that yeah. that is creepy though and she was like oh sorry sorry and i was like yeah you better say sorry <laughs> you better say Did you sorry slap her in the face? <laughs> Yeah, but like as a replay, you know, I yeah, didn't yeah. want to like, you did like, hey. Yeah, oh so my gosh. They, but, no, yeah. the whole like pretending to sleep, so I do that sometimes. Yeah, like, you just pretend to be sleeping. Yeah. And then like sometimes like you just lose the battle because like if the battle consists in like whoever stays the most like watching each other. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're like this and you don't know if, if she <laughs> exactly. or he is still yeah. there. So you're like this and, sure. then, and then you open your eyes. And then she's still there. <laughs> and then she said, Gotcha. <laughs> and you're oh like, Yeah, God. you got me. <laughs> you're just like, Just open one. <laughs> or when they're like, You're blinking. You're not, you're not a screaming. Exactly. Yeah. But, Malik, you have any? You said screaming. Is that just. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be the worst. It's not that. Yeah, I think, I think screaming would be mine because. Oof. Especially if it's fake. I don't. Cause you don't really know who's screaming or what's happening. Or like, <clears throat> sometimes like, if it's dead silent, mm -hmm. like no sound at all, oh, and then you all the little well, like, well the thing is like I've known that my parents have been home before and like I, I haven't found them and yeah. that was like when I was much younger. But I was like scared. I was always scared that like rapture was gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, for, me like, too. And I was like, no, 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 me. Which I know that I'm saved and that like the Lord will take but me home. Still, but still, I think um, about that too. Yeah. Whenever I used to wake up and then like my house, my house was like empty. Like my parents weren't at home. Mm -hmm. I was just feel like yeah. so relaxed. Like yeah, yeah. yeah, by myself. Yeah, like everything was so quiet. Like nobody was doing anything. So like when they came back, I was like, oh my god. I know when they here they come again. That was me <laughs> back home. And then everything. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> Look, what I used to do back home is when my grandmother would be going somewhere like to work, whatever. I would. If you say I'm leaving, I would have to make. I go by the road and see if she's not in oh, her just to make sure she's going because like I was so excited to have the house to myself. Yeah. So like, yes, I'm gonna do all the stuff I don't have to do when they're out. But which was this? But yeah, I think that brings us to the end of yeah. our interview. Yeah, it was definitely has fun having you guys. But also, so I work. We both of us work with Felipe, and he's leaving, and so we're gonna miss him like crazy. He's pretty chill. Yeah, no, nice. that's that's a lot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're but try, they're throwing a party because I'm leaving. Yeah. yeah, and we're throwing his bucket away because he, he's a traitor. So mm -hmm. yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for coming and yeah. for your willingness to help me. Thanks for having us. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, I will see you around. Yeah. And I'll see. Yeah. And remember, subscribe. Yes. Like. And like. Yeah. And share. And share the yeah. video. Share okay. All right. I think we're done here. Peace right. out. Bye.